I was real. I was so energetic at the time that that one hour that I was with Derek Clay felt like three days because it was an amazing time. second naturalization in June of 2016, and I was fortunate to go to Spartanburg Medical Center. This is my general hospitalization, and during that experience, I was able to go to different locations and spend time with pharmacists there within their specialty, whether it's cardiology, central pharmacists, or any other area. However, during that time, I put in my head that whoever I shadowed, whatever experience that I had, I was going to be that pharmacist. And that was until I got to spend one hour with my mentor, Derek Clay. So I was to meet him in the emergency department on June 2nd. And I met him there, we went along our day, and I remember responding to my first credit threats. And my hair is just jumping off of me and just being super excited. And as you guys can tell, I don't need anything to make me more excited than I already am. <laughs> and I felt like I've had uh, five cups of Starbucks coffee. I was super energized. And I'm never going to forget preparing antibiotics for patients at the bedside and being able to speak with my attending physician that sat to my left and answer drug related questions from our nursing staff on my right and us working together as a team. And for me, that was something that I haven't felt since my time being a D1 athlete, football player here at BC. In the 13 years prior to becoming a PC and playing with the team sports, it was the first time I felt something that way with the pharmacy. I felt like I was at home for the first time since I've been on the field with my first game in Death Valley at Clemson, lined up against the Hopkins. I was thrilled. I was so energetic at the time that that one hour that I was with Derek Clay felt like three days because it was an amazing time for me. Derek, he was so passionate about teaching. He was passionate about providing the best patient care. He was hands-on, and for me, that was amazing. I had never experienced anything like that before. Also, for me, at that time, it was the first time I had seen a clinical pharmacist that looked like me. And that resonated very deeply with me. And that one hour changed my life. So as we said earlier, I wanted to complete my PGY-1 and to complete my PGY-2 in emergency medicine and my dream program at Brady, which is also where Derek Clay completed his PGY-2 in emergency medicine 10 years prior. This is all due to one golden hour in emergency department. I'm thankful for that moment, and now I realize that this could be you. This could be a situation that you've had in your training. One hour can change the trajectory of your career. One hour can change your patient's lives. Well, the work that I do, most of the work that's important is within a golden hour. One hour can also give you a life of recovery. And honestly, that's what it's all about. When your passion meets the perfect opportunity. Class 2021, you already have passion in your hearts if you graduate from DC. But I, I must ask you to ask yourself, is right now your opportunity? Is this your opportunity? Graduating from the best school in the state, is this your opportunity to impact so many people around you? Ladies and gentlemen, the world can change with one hour. The world can change because of just one of you. But imagine what happens if two, three, or even all of you capture the essence of what that means and capture the essence of when your passion meets an opportunity like that. 
When you allow your uh, passions to run deep of inside you, there are times where you won't be able to sleep at night. Because your dreams will keep you up, so your eyes open, and you can only think about how can you make a difference in your life and those out there. And it's pretty good. This opportunity that I speak of, and this passion that I speak of, is before each other. It's possible for you to change the trajectory of pharmacy. And I know that one of you here is going to be a difference maker and actually impact the world in such a different way. And you're not going to just change your life, you're going to change everyone else's around you. And just realizing that one hour in you. However, I don't want to continue to hold you guys up. And I thank you for allowing me to flap my thumbs up here for the last few minutes. <laughs> And as I do with most talks I give, uh, I like to end it the same way. It's not traditional, I'll say. Uh, I'm going to end the same way in each episode of the Farm Silver Podcast. You don't have to work in the hospital. You don't have to work in the emergency department. You don't even have to be a pharmacist. But everything you do, make sure you're Farm Silver. Thank you. God bless you.